and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these pretty cool pipes that I might made for the um, background for Tomcat um, and if you if you request me enough I'll show you how to make these quite fancy like sort of spider clamp things for the side of your uh, modules obviously they can be resized I made them a bit too big but who cares today we're going to be focusing on this part not the um, I could say how to make the plaque as well because that's pretty straightforward but yeah today I'll just be showing you how to make these tubes so what you want to do first is you want to go file new and you're going to want to make them pretty big because obviously when you scale them down to the size of your header they're going to become quite pixelated so we're going to do a thousand by a thousand pixels and it's just really really proper basic um, pen tool stuff make sure that your pen tool is set to um, mask mode rather than um, the one that draws around things and make sure you've got a nice sort of meta metallic grey sort of selected and what we're going to do actually we're not going to do the pen tool first we're going to get a box, a uh, vector box tool and we're just going to draw a nice rectangular shape like this right, um, I've got my bevel turned on so I'm just going to reset that quickly and turn it off um, right, so I've taken bevel off that and what we want to do next is we want to get our pen tool and I'm just going to give you a quick lesson with the pen tool um, basically some people when they're drawing curves like this and that happens and they're like why the hell is it drawing this extra stupid curvy line on there for and that's because you've got these handles and basically with these handles what it says to the program is when you click over here I want to continue making a curve around this arc because it does it based on sort of like points in a triangle don't ask me I watched it on some tutorial on this website called Linda but yeah um, what you want to do is hold alt and just click that and it will get rid of the other handle and you're free to make lines in the direction that you want to make them so let's go on with the next part of this tutorial and I'm just going to show you how to do the next part so what you want to do is you want to click a fair little bit away from the pipe and that's probably too far probably like a diagonal line away from it just click inside and you want to hold shift and just drag it to the left and then we want to come over directly like this. Oops, sorry, we want to alt click so you get rid of that handle. Come over, bring it up, and connect it up. And that's pretty flush. If you want to make sure, just bring your ruler, ruler down, and you can see that's pretty straight. Um, first thing you do now is Control R to bring up your um, rulers. Then what you want to do is you want to duplicate this layer, Control and J. And then you want to come to Edit, Transform Path, Flip Horizontal. And then we just want to bring this layer over so it's in line with the other one. So we want to bring it back to around that same point, and we just want to tidy up the other one a little bit more so they're pretty much equal. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to make this one a lighter grey, and then we'll do the same for this one. We're using the eyedropper tool to match the colour. All right. Um, you can put this layer ahead of it depending on how deep you want your pipe but I don't mind quite thick I think um, maybe move this up a little bit more just to give the pipe a bit more depth and then what we want to do is we want to merge this layer we want to duplicate it again control J and then we're going to go file trans edit transform flip vertical and I'm just going to drop this down to the opposing side Oh, I don't need a better microphone, this one's awful. Alright, so that looks quite nice. And what we want to do now is we want to rasterize this layer to convert it to a smart object and that and then um, you want to rasterize it again. Basically when you convert it to a smart object it like makes all the effects part of that image. So say like you bevel it, because when you bevel it um, it saves that um, bevel settings and it applies it to everything you want to apply a bevel to and if you change the bevel it's going to change the appearance on your whole document so you convert it to a smart object and then rasterize it again and then you can bevel um, again on another thing you'll see what I mean on another tutorial and um, we won't need to use it on this one so what we want to do next is we want to merge these ones and call these the oh don't mean to do that just call these top and then with this one 
what you want to do is you want to start making it look a lot nicer so what you want to do is you want to control and click on here and this brings up the sort of marquee around the outside of it so we can't paint outside of that area and then we want to get our paintbrush tool make sure it's got a quite a decent hardness um, and you guys can choose which way you want the light to go you can either have it coming across or you can have it coming down um, I think I'll do it different to mild when I have it coming across so what we want to do is you want to get a nice highlight colour and just bring it across like that and then what we want to do next is maybe if you want to add a little bit more depth is just shrink the size down on the brush and just oof. put it through the middle gives it a bit more highlight maybe you don't want to give it too much so you have a little bit extra on the bottom like this and then what we're going to do is you want to go filter blur gaussian blur and we're just going to blur these together and then what I did in my other one is I applied a f another blur as well I did a surface blur as well and that just sort of rounds it off a lot more makes it look a lot smoother and a lot more metallic so you just play with those until you have it as you want and then you can do control D to deselect it or you can click on your marquee tool then what I did on my other one is I've got another rectangular tool put it to black and I just drew around the outside like this and then I set that layer behind this one dropped it down and that just sharpened things up a lot more so you've got a lot more sharpness back in there and it still looks metallic and then I merged the whole layer together like so and now everything's together so what we want to do now is you want to get a burn tool I've got my exposure down about 17% because we don't want it too dark and make sure you've got your range set to shadows because midtones and highlights really don't show up that well and what we want to do is we just want to add a little bit of depth to the um, what can I call it? The edges like this just makes them look a bit more 3D, more rounded. I'm not spending loads of time on this like I did on my other one last night. So obviously your guys' ones go a lot, a lot better than this. But you get the idea. Go with as crazy of this as you like. I even played with the curves on mine. I think I just um, yeah I did. And obviously, if you want it to look a bit more rough, you can do a blur on the outside of this as well. Now it's time to scale this down a bit and start producing the curve in it. So we just want to control J the layer and we want to rotate it basically. Just move it up. And we're going to repeat this process until we have a nice curved sort of spine to the shape. I'm using my arrow keys to um, move this rather than positioning it with the mouse. It's a lot less time consuming. Well, depending on where you're actually moving your object, it's, it can be a lot less time consuming or it can be more time consuming. But for fine adjustments, it's sort of what I like to use. Um, the longer you hold it down for, the more it accelerates. But we're just placing it. And. Um, you'll see that if you've got a sharp enough edge like um, to these parts here that you'll actually get um, a really nice sort of join it won't look too I don't know what the word is I'm losing it guys you get a much smoother sort of edge to it it will look really rounded so I'm quite happy with that what I'm going to do now is merge these layers all together and probably rotate it a little bit so that will fall flush with the sort of bracket or whatever you want to call it the plaque and now what you want to do is we want to add our sort of green tube through the middle so for that we get our pen tool again and let's do like a nice ready liquid for this one and what we're going to do is it will start on the background layer because it will make a, a new layer above the one you have selected so we don't want it to go above our um, top copy and we're just going to click here 
and at the bottom and we're gonna move this curve oh god I'm gonna have to zoom out click here I'm just gonna move this until it sits nicely in there like that alt click on here click to the other side and then we're gonna try and match this up as best we can if I get this first time I'll be very happy yeah I've done it there we go alt click again and bring it down to join it up now you're probably looking at that and you're thinking boom that is really crap and you're thinking well, why does it look 3D and all that jazz in there well what you want to do first is you want to rasterize this layer then we're going to do the control click again to get it all selected and nice and then we're going to select a few different shades of red to apply texture so let's make it quite nice and light around these areas so it looks like it's light on the top and then as we're going in we'll get darker so we'll just build these layers up pretty much just getting darker and um, I'm sure you guys get the point of this pretty self explanatory really um, going through this sorry I'm really bad at talking while I'm concentrating as you probably already guessed And then to make it finish it off, I'm just going to get the bl um, burn tool and just burn around this, around the edges. You can actually highlight where everything goes. Um, and then maybe even the um, dodge tool to lighten up these areas at the top. The final thing that I did on the um, other one, um, we could possibly as well do a blur on this actually, or even better, make a duplicate, adjustments, curves, bring it down like a lot, play with the opacity on this one, play with the opacity on this one, and then maybe even blur this bottom one out a bit yeah I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have please be sure to comment rate subscribe and um, leave your requests for future tutorials um, thanks for watching guys and uh, peace